still gonna be, it's gonna be warmer today, right? Yeah. I don't know, I just said that. Just say that. <laughs> so I can tell. Uh, 76 today. Oh, 78. I might, I will really wanna take the kids Here. swimming, but it's just like hasn't Shimmy. been warm. No, it hasn't. You know? You want me to go first since you just. Sure, we have to do our intro though. Oh, yeah. So we're doing a podcast. I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> okay, ready? Welcome to Those Two Chicks with, with a podcast. podcast. Happy Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sunday for us. Sundays are bummers. I know. I think it's just because I know the week is starting. I don't even fucking work. I just... <laughs> Sundays are <laughs> such I'm like, a bummer for ugh. me. Because <laughs> every day for me is the same exact fucking day. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we're here. We're hanging mm-hmm. out. Um, should we tell some stories? I, we yeah. didn't really talk in the beginning of the last episode. No, we did. We talked about espresso. You're right. You're right. We're, but dude, actually, we're out of shit right now. I'm gonna make fun of you. I knew. We, I knew we were gonna talk about this. So let's let's clear the air. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I. <laughs> I'm the one. Okay, so so this is what happens. We record one day, uh-huh. typically a Sunday, maybe a Saturday, depends on what we got going on. Really Emma so edits them. Emma's a very busy person, <laughs> so <laughs> most of the time I feel like I get the episode like a day before, or I get mm-hmm. it that day, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, I'm the one who schedules and makes the posts. That's my job. So, Emma, <laughs> what day was that? Last Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we've, we've recorded last we recorded Sunday, and Emma was like on a fucking roll and she edited mm-hmm. both episodes and sent them to me that day and I was like oh sweet so I'll schedule them so I don't have to think about it the day of like I'll make sure I do that didn't do it but Emma thought I did I did <laughs> so it was Friday and it was like noon yeah and I didn't realize it was Friday because I don't know what's going on with me guys my brain has not been in my body this past, like, week and a half. But she's like, hey, are you going to post the episode to <laughs> I felt so bad. I didn't even think about any any of it. Like, it didn't cross my mind. Yeah. Until people asked me. I had people message me saying, love the podcast. Like, when's the next episode? I'm like, today. <laughs> and they're like, I don't see anything. It was just the Michigan Ted Bundy. I'm like. Yeah. Oh. And <laughs> I looked at it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I said, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. So, mm-hmm. you guys know what I was doing the night before instead and this of, is what cracks me <laughs> up. Because I, I messaged Emma Thursday night. Didn't think about it being Thursday. I just, like, messaged Emma. I was like, guess what I'm doing? <laughs> I was buying a frog. <laughs> but I sent it to her Sunday. And this is also why I didn't say anything. I mean, it's just funny. It's whatever. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. up. It's such an, a it good went explanation up of on who I am Friday. As a person. So there you go. Yeah, I. But yeah. I send it to her on Sunday. Yeah. And she's like, "I'm gonna go schedule these now because she's like, I always do it so late at night or like last I minute. I do, and then I get mad at myself because I'm like, why? Am yeah. I, I schedule these at nine o'clock the night before. Yeah. And I could give them to you like the morning or yeah. the day before, but I was like really ahead of myself. You were. And you were like, well, I got a frog. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Yeah, and then you just said that you had nothing to do that day, and you were so happy. Yeah, so we were really chill that day because um, it was just a good. It was like a good day. We Mm -hmm. uh, (laughs) we got like really good food that night. Mm. Um, the kids. Okay, so we had been planning Lincoln. Okay, remember the fish fiasco? Yeah. So Maisie has the fish in her room. Okay. Fish, the fish. Right. Um, we talked about that before. If you want to go back and listen, I don't know what episode. Mm-hmm. So we got a fish. I was really into it. The fish is still alive. Oh, that's impressive, so, actually. <laughs> I know. That's what happens when you pay attention to mm-hmm. how to take care of it. Um, so <laughs> we, Lincoln, we've been just trying to find something Lincoln can be interested in. Because he was super interested in horror video games. Horror? Horror, not horror. Horror. (laughs) That'd be that'd be real fucking bad. That'd be really bad. He got into this video game. All kids like it. It's not like I'm letting him watch. Like, it is bad. But hold on, let me finish. So 
Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, it's yeah. It's just a big thing for, like, kids right now. But I'd say it's yeah. more for, like, preteen kids. Yeah. So we've been trying... At first, we were just letting him, like, look at the characters, but mm-hmm. not, like, what it's actually about. Well, he got on YouTube. He found out what it was actually about. They're animatronics mm-hmm. that murder children. Yeah. They don't scare him. Okay. They fascinate him, which I, worries me. I, I, it's not as scary. No, that I've that's seen not. It. So I realize I'm like, well, that's not as it's, bad. And they tailored yeah. the, the newest game more towards just mm-hmm. like kids. Like, there's nothing gory. They just give you jump scares. Yeah. And they, yeah. So whatever. But in doing this, mm-hmm. even on the kids' YouTube app, he has found, like, Cartoon Cat, which is another, like, creepypasta okay. monster, Siren Head, like, all these... I don't know anything about them, guys, other than they're, like, creepypasta mm-hmm. monsters. And he loves it. Like, he'll, <laughs> he's getting really good at art. Mm. So he makes, like, he'll make them out of, like, Play-Doh. And, like, mm-hmm. so I didn't see anything wrong with it. But then he started acting out quite a bit. Mm. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? Well, <laughs> violent, violent, you know, videos. He doesn't watch, the crazy thing is he doesn't, he doesn't, like, watch murder videos. He just, like, watches a song about Cartoon Cat where the, the cat's, like, moving around and there's like a guy running away but it's not bloody it's not like i mean the song says it'll eat you but i mean (laughs) he's four (laughs) so we're like okay i blocked all these videos yeah because even though they weren't that bad obviously they're having some sort of effect because he only wants to play monster and he's just too rough he's also a boy but it's too rough so whatever, we blocked everything. So everyone's just going to know my shitty parenting with this story. But we're like, mm-hmm. we need to get him into something that's going to build responsibility, mm-hmm. something that he can really learn about. We wanted to get him into something. Well, of course, Lucas fucking picks frogs. Mm-hmm. So we've been watching frog videos for like a week, figuring out mm-hmm. which kind of frog we should get, what's a great beginner, how to take care of it, all these different fucking things. Doing our research with it. So Thursday, we finally got it. Mm-hmm. And we were just very excited. And it was cute because Lincoln was so happy sure. he ended up naming it smoothie it's a strawberry pac-man frog okay um we think it's more of an apricot but <laughs> another 200 dollars later oh god really <laughs> and it was close it wasn't wow it wasn't quite there but well because of course my husband he will not do something like that half ass. so he's like well i need this, this, this so whatever we got it um but i, I expected it this time but then we get home and we're all just happy we got some good dinner lincoln's so excited the kids go to sleep and i'm like wow for once i have nothing to do tonight not even kidding you i told lucas that it came out of my mouth i said babe we can watch a show early i have nothing to do tonight i don't even know i think we watched love on the spectrum (laughs) it was a great time Mm -hmm. and then the next day and emma's like where's the episode (laughs) at 12 I thought I had nothing to do. Oh, and it's probably because my brain told me, like, oh, you scheduled the episodes because yeah. you talked about it, but I never mm-hmm. did it. But I don't like to be that, like, annoying person, like, to schedule the episode. Be like, yeah, you I can, did. You can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay, sometimes. Because typically I do it. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. No, but, it's been fine. Dude, I've, I've had such bad anxiety lately. I think this is probably the first time you haven't. I've been just out of it because I've, yeah. you know, because these are the first couple of weeks I've been doing this course. So that's like what I've been spending time on at night. Mm-hmm. But I need to get my, now that our room finally has electricity, we just got it a couple of days ago. Oh, nice. Um, I am going to set up my little desk area again with my calendar that I will mm-hmm. actually use. And I'll make sure... I'm on my shit. Are you going to use your calendar then? I used to. Okay. See, it's funny. Like, the apps, I don't really use. I did mm. buy a that I don't really use. But, like, mm-hmm. a calendar that's displayed in front of me, I will use. It's weird. Like, a book that I put down, I'll forget about it. I don't know. I can't explain to you how my brain works. I think I have ADHD, and I need to figure that out. Did you tell your therapist? Not yet. I keep forgetting, because I'm talking about other things. So, anyway. Hi, guys. Hi. Sorry. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. <laughs> I'm still really tired. Yeah, me too. I feel like I'm sort of waking up, but I don't know. It's only 9.30. Mm-hmm. We're getting there. Um, but we have a What the Fuck Tales for you today. Hopefully this isn't someone's first episode listening to us. I hope not. <laughs> but if it is, just so you know, Fridays are our fun days and Tuesdays are our true crime days. So that's what you get. <laughs> anyway, we are doing haunted locations. 
which we haven't done since our first episode. Yeah, that's a long time ago. (laughs) Yeah. I can't believe that. I can't believe we're still hanging in there. We're doing pretty good, I'd say. I think so. You know? Mine is definitely more of a... I I got kind of into the history of it a little bit. Um, Verse... I mean, there are ghosts, but they're just... Wait, pause. I'm going to get a pretzel. Okay, get a pretzel. (laughs) Begin. Okay, okay. (laughs) So I wanted to talk about the Doherty Hotel. Oh. Doherty? Doherty. The Doherty Hotel. I've never heard of it. Oh, fuck. I got it. No, I got You got me self-conscious. Hold on. What did I do? Because you were going to say yours wrong, so I have to make sure I'm not saying mine wrong. Oh. <laughs> I, I say everything wrong, though. I, so do I. Hold on. Doherty. I'm pretty sure it's Doherty. 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 Okay. So and I, if it's not correct, take it up with Google Translate. Yeah. So <laughs> go, go yell at Google Translate. So I wanted to talk about the Doherty Hotel. Mm-hmm. Which is a historical hotel built in the 1920s in Clare, Michigan. Clare today, I've, I've never been to Clare, Michigan, mm-hmm. um, but it's a very touristy spot with like a lot of very old buildings that have turned into like expensive shops. Mm-hmm. There's a large Amish community. It's just, you'll probably buy some great bread there. Um, probably very expensive though. Um, but mm-hmm. it's still pretty pop in place. It's just more of a touristy, old timey feel to Claire? it. It's like mm-hmm. northern. But not quite all the way north. <laughs> so okay. I've never heard of Claire. You've never heard of Claire? I mean, mm-hmm. I've heard of Claire. I've just never been there. Never been there, never heard a little, of it. A little rhymey for you. Um, but back in the day, it had uh, quite a few travelers. Uh, very influential people, including a man who was a senator. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alfred James Doherty. He was quite wealthy and a businessman, and he decided he was going to build a hotel in Clare because there wasn't any at the time. And there was train, like a, a railway that was close to the town. And everyone was telling him, hey, like build your hotel near the train tracks because, you know, you'll get a lot of business. But little Michigan history for you, he was actually friends with Henry Ford. Oh. Who would come to be the founder of Ford Motor, whatever, <laughs> Ford Motor Company? Sorry, me just being Ford, whatever. Stupid. Yeah. I want to be like, who's Henry Ford? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> founder of Ford Motor Company, mm-hmm. um, and other shit. But that's the biggest one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he was like, no, dude, listen, like vehicles are gonna be the shit in the next few years. Mm-hmm. So build your hotel in the town, mm-hmm. and people, you know will end up going there because they won't be riding the trains anymore. He was right. Mm-hmm. It was poppin', this hotel. Very it's poppin'. It was, it's poppin'. <laughs> it's poppin'. <laughs> what you know about me? What you, what you know about me? It's a man of cuss is good. I'm a pussy child. They chased me at the school. Sorry. <laughs> We're so white, too. Yeah. We're like, it was... <laughs> Horrible. Um, so it was popping. His lip gloss was popping. His lip mm. gloss be cool. <laughs> um, and it was like a big hotel. Like it's not just like an old little building. It had quite a few floors. Oh. I mean, not quite a few. Like, probably like five. Like, it wasn't like a huge So hotel. not several. Not, not several. Just five. <laughs> I'm sorry. Close to seven. I just not. Feel, I feel like I can't not make I will fun never, of you for that one. I will never in my head be like, wait, several, seven. No, not seven. Like, I'll probably be doing even when I'm, like, 60 years old. <laughs> so, anyway, it was it was really popular. Um, it was, like, fancy schmancy, and it was the place to be. So, this was in, um, this was in the early 1920s that he built this. So, the town was kind of, like, built around it. Oh. Like, it was really popular. Um, but, as we know, what happened at the end of the 1920s, Emma? The Great Depression. The Great Depression. And so all the businesses, you know, in the whole world. <laughs> good thumbs up. Um, in the whole world. <laughs> in the whole world. Um, you know, they were struggling. Yeah. But uh, the Dohertys were like, no. Like, we're going to make this shit work mm. no matter however, you know, we have to. Because they poured their all their family's money into this hotel. Like, this is their livelihood. And, you know, what they did worked because it's still owned by the Doherty family today. And wow. Isn't that crazy? Like, same, same, same family? Same family. Yep. It's hmm. still running. Um, doesn't have great reviews, but... <laughs> And it was, like, a pretty swanky place. Like, they had, like, a little soda 
soda restaurant oh. in there, which I thought, I think those are so cute. I love those. There's got to be some still around, like a retro, I'm sure. old timey. And you got to go to not, one. make one. That Business is- idea. We thought of it first. Don't do it. We're going to do it. Those two chicks with the soda shop. The- <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. I love that. We'll, film, um, we'll record our podcast. For then. sure. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they had, um, you know, soda pops and businesses, Mm -hmm. and they had a library in there at one time. Wow. I know, the Claire Public Library was in there. But then, like I said, the Great Depression hit. They had to get a little creative. Um, So they ended up, uh, you know, what else was big in that time? Do you know? Prohibition. Prohibition! (laughs) Round of applause. Prohibition. (laughs) So they were known for one of the most famous speakeasies. In Michigan. Ooh. So, really cool. I I think that um, one lady said it was, like, through a cooler entrance to get to the easy. That's kind of cool. I didn't confirm that. A, just oh. a lady said that when I was listening to videos right. about it. <laughs> um, could be wrong, but it would be pretty sweet if that was mm-hmm. true. Uh, we're just going to say it is. So, they had a lot of gambling um, and a lot of uh, hosting of crime bosses, including a very famous gang called the Purple Gang. Um, the Purple Gang was one of the most notorious game gangs <laughs> of Detroit in the 20s and 30s, led by four brothers and made almost entirely of immigrants from Detroit's Lower East Side. Um, it was a, it was like a Jewish gang. Okay. Yeah, led by the Bernstein brothers, which I'm like that's that's like top notch Jewish name, isn't it? That it reminds me cool. of this Berenstain or. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Maybe it was Berenstain at one point in. Mandela effect t- took over. Um, so they also, the hotel also became a brothel to oh. survive the Great Depression. Well. So, like, this place was still popping, but it's popping. It's popping. In other ways. In other ways. Like, it's popping. <laughs> pop, something's popping in there. Um, so, there were just a lot of like moving parts here, lots of crime. There were quite a few murders, but I wanted to oh. tell you about one of the most famous ones. Um, on May 14th, 1938, things got a little out of hand. Um, a man named Carl Jack Livingston, who was a Michigan oil promoter, ended up getting into a fight and was shot by Isaiah Lee Bow, an attorney turned businessman for the Purple Gang. So gang affiliated, somehow it was, a, there was a lot of moving parts. But Isaiah Lee Bow ended up passing away inside the hotel. People still think he's roaming the halls to this day. So let's get a little into the hauntings. Mm -hmm. Um, So, what? Imagine him walking down the halls. It's popping. It's It's popping. With like a cane, like (laughs) an old timey outfit. And he's like, it's popping. It's (laughs) popping. It's popping. Do you guys hear that rhythmic pattern? It sounds like someone's tap dancing. What's it? It's popping. It's popping. It's popping. Oh my God. Could you imagine how creepy that shit would be? Oh, that'd be be terrifying. Dude. Pretty cool though. And that reminds me of a conversation I had with Lucas the other night. Because I said, Man, I hope whenever I die that I could be like a ghost just for a little bit and I could just fuck with people. Like on the EVPs, just go like, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, It's popping. It's popping. Because you know, they're always like saying weird or scary shit. And I just want to be like, Lately, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just so. Just fuck I with agree. people. They always are like, I'm here. Yeah. Like, get out. Yeah. Or leave. Like yeah. just something like, or something I don't know. lame. <laughs> I know. I would just do something crazy. I'd be like, I don't know. You got something on your face. And they'd be like, oh my God, where? You know, I don't know. I'd just fuck with people. Is your refrigerator on? <laughs> I, I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Just something. Like, come on. Give us something spicy. It's Brittany Bad. Yes. <laughs> Or, like, if someone saw my apparition, I'd be, like, dancing like this. Yes! 70s disco dancing. Yeah. Robot. And they were dancing. <laughs> we'll be ghosts together. Yeah. Oh, my God. We'd have so much fun. We'd just be... It's turbo time. We'd be running around. Just crop dust, everyone. <laughs> what is that smell? Ghost plasm in the air. I don't Oh, my God. I think we would be so funny as ghost. I mean, let's wait a while. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm good not for ready a yet. Bit. No, but, dude, we'd be so funny. Um. All right. So, anyway, they say Isaiah Lebo has been seen around the hotel, and his footsteps can be heard near where he was killed. Oh. Um, and many paranormal investigators say they have picked up 
well, yeah, they've picked up a man talking. So mm-hmm. nothing like, I couldn't find any recordings where they're actually like saying something you can make out, but... Oh, okay. You know. Um, So another ghost in the hotel is a grandmother of the Doherty clan. Her name was Helen, and she was known as the grandmother of the hotel. She was very active in the planning and whatever. So when she died, this is kind of creepy to me, they had her funeral there. I mean, maybe maybe if they hosted events there, but I don't know about a funeral. But, yeah, Mm. so weird. Like, imagine if you were checking in. Yeah. That day? And they're What's like, going on in there? Oh, it's it's a private funeral. Like, right at the reception desk is, like, her open casket. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Grandma Doherty. <laughs> you had uh, to sign her papers, like, yeah, on her it, casket. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's the desk now. <laughs> they had her embalmed and encased. And just, Hi, Grandma. <laughs> That's so, we're so disrespectful. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like to think that she's haunting them there now because she thought it was so fucked up that they had her funeral there. (laughs) That's such a bad business move. I'm going to haunt the shit out of you fuckers. So anyway, Mm -hmm. Grandma Helen, um, (laughs) later down the road, some investigators came to the hotel and caught the voice of an old woman claiming to be Helen. I'm Helen. Was Uh, it actually like an old lady? Yeah. Like an old lady voice? Yeah. That's not, you know what? I never really hear that. No. I, well, I don't it's know. It's always like a young woman. And... Well, I can't tell you if it was for sure because I didn't even I'm listen to Helen. it. I'm Helen. Oh, where are my bran flakes? <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> oh, I hate what they've done with the place. <laughs> um, but not only has her voice been heard, it's said that you can smell her perfume wafting down the hall. <laughs> I thought you were just going to leave it. You can smell her. I'm like, you can smell, her. smell her skin. <laughs> <laughs> Smells paper thin. <laughs> like mothballs. All people do have <laughs> scent. They do. But you know what I'm wondering, too? It's like also like a fucking 100 and, like 102-year-old building. Like it probably just stinks like old. But they right. think it's like an old woman <laughs> perfume. Like, no, that's just the mothballs we have in the closet down the hall. You know? Like... How do you know that's Helen? It's probably just stuck in the fucking wall. I just walls. imagine like floral. Yeah. Like a heavy yeah. flower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Helen? <laughs> that's Helen. <laughs> Grandma? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, she's around, maybe. Um, okay, there's also a room that Mrs. Doherty, they didn't say what fucking Mrs. Doherty. I'm guessing the one who was married to the senator. Because there's been, like, generations oh, of yeah. Doherty's. I'm so, like, assume who's the grandma? The is it her grandma? Is it, like, down the road, someone else's grandma Like, is it the, the mom's wife or? What? Wait, no, it'd be the husband's the wife. The husband's wife's mom. Mom? Or maybe it's the husband's mom. Maybe it's the husband's mom. If I she don't know. is, if, but if Helen's last name back in the 1920s, would she even be alive? Long enough to like, I don't know, because he was older. We don't know, but anyway, <laughs> didn't look that up. <laughs> Questioned it, didn't look it up. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also a room that Mrs. Doherty lived in that's said to be haunted. If you go in the room, there is a painting of Mrs. Doherty, and mm-hmm. it said if you go stand in front of it, her eyes will move and look at you. I feel like it's very common with any painting. Yeah, if you go closer, maybe it looks like it's looking at you. Yeah. I don't know. Like the Mona Lisa? I'd be like, what do you, please stop staring at me. That makes me uncomfortable. Like, I don't like eye contact sometimes. <laughs> so I'd be like, <laughs> looking away. <laughs> so yeah, um, there's that. Now, um, other. Well, that's kind of lame. I thought it would be like, and she kills you. You know, there's she reaches really, out. There's really not that interesting of hauntings. I just thought the building was kind of cool. No, it is very cool. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> Kind of lame. Um, Other guests have reported hearing old-timey music and laughter coming from downstairs where the speakeasy was located. Oh, I hate that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And they Mm -hmm. also reported a very heavy feeling around the hotel. Mm. But people are pretty disappointed when they go stay there, so. Oh. But it is still in business. Um, The historical part is is closed off to guests, which I feel like that's what they would probably come for. <laughs> um, and then they said the current rooms were redone in the 70s and not updated since. So <laughs> they're like, it's not a very comfortable stay. 
Yeah. It'd be cool just to go on like a little tour of it. Yeah, but I like the historical part of it. Yeah. Like that'd be cool. Right. They probably make a lot more money. Probably. Well, Helen, if you can hear us. <laughs> Tell somebody. I know we were very offensive to you, but... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it would be really funny. We apologize. And um, we were just trying to be funny. <laughs> you know. Take a joke. We'll go. Yeah. It'd be cool. I'm going to take you You're to going a old school. She wrote this on paper. We're supposed to be those two chicks with tablets. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I wrote this last night. <laughs> okay. That's all right. I've been really busy. Was this it from week. a book? No. Oh. It wasn't. Oh, I found time. one that I want to do next time that has to do with the case from, we've talked about. From a book? From a book. Oh. Look at me, I read a book. I didn't read it yet. I just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a place called Pier Cheney. Mm-hmm. Pier I hope. One? No. Loved that store. <laughs> I've been there. Um, it was established in 1874 by founder George Cheney. Do the 1800s ever just freak you out? Yes. Yeah. I think that's why I'm so fascinated with them at the same mm-hmm. time. So scary. Just can't imagine, like, the 1800s. You know, like, I don't really think about the 1700s, the 1600s. I Mm-mm. don't think about them that much. But the 1800s just seems like such a fucked up, mm-hmm. <laughs> scary time. <laughs> anyway, so that's who founded the place. And the village received a land grant to build, basically. Okay. But it's from the Michigan Central Railroad. And they were able to create a stop along the railroad. So that's how... That was what it was for. Mm -hmm. Um, They had a general store, sawmills, a hotel, and a post office. Oh, that's a lot. And the population was about 1,500 people. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. For back then. And then 1893 happened, and diphtheria. (laughs) Oh, fuck. (laughs) That that one. Spread. Wiped out a lot of people. (laughs) It's so sad. It's so horrible. Why is it always diphtheria? Because diphtheria is a big one. The village tried... No, I can't even say it without laughing. It's so sad. Okay, I'm it's gonna, so I won't smile at you. Sad. Okay. But it just sums up 1800s. The village tried to recover, oh. but fires broke out. Oh. So the village just. <laughs> <laughs> like, these poor people haven't been through it enough. You know, like, 1500s. I just imagine, like. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, guys, we survived diphtheria. We're the, we're the chosen ones. And then fire. I just imagine, I'm sorry. These are real people and I should not be laughing. But I no. literally just imagine like in The Sims where they're like, oh, oh, I don't know. I hope so. Anyway, they were actually caused by sparks from the mills behind the village. What? Okay. So- All the way behind it? I was think it was close? just, like, located okay. behind and then spread. <laughs> Everything was made out of wood. Like, That's not really, true. Like... There was no, like, fireproof of anything. No. So after they try to recover, they're slowly trying to build the village again after the fires and everything. And then in 1897, <laughs> the disease returned again. Oh. <laughs> it's so sad. It's really sad. There's 1,500 of them. <laughs> and then by 1901, the population was 25. Oh! <laughs> song like i get knocked down but, <laughs> but i get, get up, up again. again but it's like they get knocked down by disease and they got you up probably again just stay down and then the fires <laughs> happened and they're like we got this guys and then another disease and they're like well there's 25 of us that is so sad i know they're like fucking cursed dude they so, probably built on an indian <laughs> burial ground or something you know i did see i did see a report that there was like a native american yeah. tribe around that time okay but it was very confusing because it was multiple Uh-oh. multiple resources so i really don't know Uh-oh. where they built i think they were just unlucky Eighteen hundreds, man <laughs> but by 1917 the population was under 20 <laughs> so it was sold for a public auction and it officially became a ghost town um, and so what's left of this town, after the fires and everything, a cemetery. Oh. That's it. There's nothing. There's nothing here. Okay. I even Google Earthed it. There's nothing except a cemetery. There's lots of ghost stories and okay. a legend, actually. Okay. So it's a local legend that says a witch cursed the village oh. after she was banished to the woods. And that's what caused the disease and fire. So okay. she cursed them. Okay. But there was another one 
that's uh, there's two versions of the story of the witch. Okay. They either they hanged her in the cemetery and then she's like buried in an unmarked grave and then she cursed them or she was banished to the woods and cursed them i like the woods better i know i do too yeah. either way i like to think it's not a witch i just like yeah. to think it's just the 1800s and they're well, very yeah. unfortunate people <laughs> yeah visitors actually report seeing ghosts figures glowing orbs lights and hearing voices what's your opinion on orbs i don't know sometimes <laughs> i see them and i'm like that's dust. I feel like you have, like, really bad cameras. Your, your lens is <laughs> a little like, dirty. Right. Because sometimes it, like, doesn't look right. And, like, I watched Ghost Hunters the other night, and they were like, did you see that orb floating on the mountain? And it just looks yeah. like, it's like a bug in the dark. <laughs> I don't know. Orbs are okay. not my thing. Okay. I think, like, hearing people Yeah, more... the orbs don't really scare me either. Like, right. It's like, yeah, ooga booga. And, and then the, the things I hate the most... Um, some have reported hearing children laughing. Oh, fuck that. I hate children laughing. Oh, me too. Ghost children laughing. Love in person, but yeah. like, Mm-mm. if I heard a kid laughing and there was none, Mm-mm. shit my pants. Instantly. Burn down the house. Instant shit. <laughs> um, and seeing handprints on their cars. Oh, that's fucking freaky. Mm-hmm. Don't like that. I hate that. Don't like that. Okay, so <laughs> the survivors, there was less than 20. Yeah. They moved away oh, to good. S- seek good. safety. Good idea. After they're like, guys, everyone's dead. Let's yeah. just get out of here because it's leave. a ghost town. Right. There's nothing in this town anymore. And they had, like like I said, they had all those little establishments. Nothing's left. Yeah. That's oh. gone. <laughs> that's so, so sad. But actually, Pier uh, Cheney, if you're wondering, it's by Grayling, Michigan. Do you know where Grayling is? I've heard of Grayling. Yeah, so it's like the upper north of lower peninsula, Michigan. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but I think it's like if you're heading to Detroit and you're heading up north. So it's like, yeah. I think it's like around here. We should go on a road trip sometime. Honestly, we have all like, these places often. to go to. Yeah. But they say it's like one of the most haunted small towns, Dude. Small ghost towns. Oh, the handprint thing. That scares mm-hmm. the fuck out of me. And I think it's They're like you're like, not allowed to go at a- night. Oh. I, th- I think they lock it. Oh, like the down. cemetery? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, how I was like, how can they control if I could drive on the road? Like, if there's no yeah. buildings. But the No, cemetery. I think, like, everything's opened up during the day, but they lock everything down at night. What? I think it's just because everything's That's so old. Also kind of, like, out of respect. Like, I feel like Yeah, most... because, like, in a lot of, the cem- like, the cemetery, there's some graves that you actually can see but a lot of them are like crumbled up i don't know if that's just time or like vandalism oh that's true so i think why do people have to ruin things i don't know because that's a, people like, be i dead. don't understand the vandalism at like anytime there's a cool thing mm-hmm. people gotta fuck it up i know and it's like why but can you imagine just driving you're like oh welcome to pier cheney and then right. there's nothing but a cemetery right that would be freaky that would be freaky anyway that's, that's it. good that's cool that's the ghost story of michigan that was pretty funny though it is just so upsetting. Sorry, guys. I feel like any of our spooky episodes, we mostly, like, laugh. They literally had two diseases. That <laughs> and then when they thought they were okay, just kidding. Fire I'm sorry. Happened. When you said 25, I lost it. I, it was just I'm too sorry. funny. But they, I like that they're like, it's the witch. I'm like, really? Mm, I don't I think, think it's so. it's just the 1800s. I think it's just... They're poor Horrible planning. fucking time. Mm-hmm. Horrible time. Zero out of ten. Cool. Um, well, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, it's my true crime next week. I'll schedule the episodes on time, I promise. Oh, okay. I swear. <laughs> Bible. Do people still say that? Oh, so. okay. All right. Well, bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. <laughs>